YouTube. Um, this is Jen here tonight. I haven't done a video in probably a couple weeks because, well, life. <laughs> I've been really busy. Um, so yeah, this is a problem orchid that um, I think I've had for mm, six to eight months now. Pretty sure I got this in the fall. Um, I did not realize how bad of shape it was in. And I had tried to repot it in here, um, but it was instantly, like, constantly tipping on me, and the lip was not, um, big enough for me to put one of these, um, hoops on there. So, I would do it like this, and it just kept, like, falling either way, so then all of these roots, um, that are actually good were sticking out, and then drying up on me like crazy so I'm just trying to promote some new root growth because as you can see a lot of these roots look pretty rotted in here um, I wasn't really sure if I was gonna trim it at all but considering one of the leaves is also starting to brown um, I figured I should probably trim off some of these bad roots so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be right back Alright guys, so I only trimmed off some of the bad roots um, because some of these still felt decently firm. I kind of pulled on some of them because they obviously just snap off and it's probably not that great of a root anyways. Um, so yeah, we're going to work with this. I just want to make sure the plant still gets moisture. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and work with that. Oops, sorry, I thought I paused the video. It's really hard to work with um, one hand. <laughs> so, um, like I said, the lip on this pot was not good. So, I am going to go ahead and I have this one kind of like prepped. I will have to take this ring off probably or like really stretch it out to fit the plant in here though. Um, I was kind of debating between this pot and a larger one. But the large pot was too big. Um, and it is, I think this is... Yes. Is it a Lelia Calia? So, I know that they like to usually be in like a airy, drier potting media. Um, I am going to go ahead and use a little bit of sphagnum moss. So I kind of prepared this bowl with some water, or soft I should say. Um, it's just like a compacted like sphagnum moss. You have to get it wet. Um, I highly recommend this stuff. I've bought a little loose sphagnum before and if you look at my previous videos I swear that um that sphagnum moss had given me gnats so yeah just need a little bit of water it goes a long way and then you can just start breaking it apart and it gets bigger and fluffier so I'll kind of mix this in with um, my bark mix that I'm going to use um so yeah gonna have to put you guys in pause again Alright, I'm going to attempt holding this while trying to add some potting stuff, um, potting media to here. So what I like to do is, um, try and get some bigger pieces at the bottom. If I can. Just to kind of set the roots up from the bottom a bit. Probably... Go ahead and lift this and just reset it because I didn't think that through. Okay. So you have some down there. So the roots have something to sit on. I'm kind of nestle this back in here, making sure to get these roots that I'm trying to keep moisture around in that pot. And the reason why my roots are wet right now is because they're more flexible, so I can actually fit them in there nicely. And then I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle a little sphagnum around here. I like to kind of switch off. I'm only really planning on using a little bit. Sorry guys, I'm kind of mumbling. <laughs> because my boyfriend knows I do YouTube videos. Um, but I haven't told his parents. I don't know, a lot of people don't know yet. 
because I'm kind of embarrassed right now. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I'm talking quieter and kind of mumbly. In fact, my boyfriend might walk in in any minute. And he's actually never watched me film a YouTube video. So I can just see. He'll give me, like, the funny wide eyes, like, just to make fun of me. But, like, in a loving way. Like, he supports it, but he just likes to make fun of me. He's a jokester. Kind of try and get some pieces around here. And, like, I had just repotted this orchid not that long ago, guys, but, like I said, it was falling out. So, my best recommendation to you is if you have an orchid with not many roots and you want to just, like, repot it, um, I would definitely invest in these. They're seriously, like, I think the most I've ever paid for one is, like, 68 cents or something like that. So, um, they're really nice. And, like I said, you have to have a pot that has a lip, though, for it to latch onto. So, I highly recommend it. Do some more sphagnum. Oh, and I didn't mention my boyfriend is bringing some Italian beefs back tonight, so I'm pretty excited. I like food. I'm going to kind of fill in some of these nooks. I think it's still going to be a bit airy, so that'll be good. See some pockets in there. Alright. Let's do another layer of each. I also found that, like, I know that orchids... They sometimes say, like, oh, if the roots wanted to be out, like, the air roots, you should probably keep them out. And again, I normally am, like, all for that, but this particular orchid, I mean, those were its only good roots, and I felt like it was being out of the media that they were slowly, like, drying up on me. So, because I've had no new root growth, like, there's been nothing positive coming out of this, whereas another one at home that I'd repotted like this is already showing, like improvement so I mean if you have to bury the roots then bury the roots like I even have a buried pseudobulb in there which will probably rot eventually but I'll just I'm gonna repot this again in a year probably um just because of given the nature of like the state of the roots I want to just make sure that I'm not gonna lose more unless it's doing really awesome then maybe I should just let it be Alright. But if I learned anything, if you're trying to promote root growth, you need to keep the moisture in. And the sphagnum. Okay. I usually don't even do a full layer like this, but I think it'll be good for this orchid. This one's nice and repotted. I'm excited. It looks so much better. It was driving me crazy when it kept tipping over. It looks so bad. And like, yeah, I just thought it was going to fall over again and just like dump all the roots out. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, hopefully this helped you get some ideas for repotting your own orchids. Um, the ways to kind of help with the issue of them tipping over. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, like my video and subscribe. Thank you.